Hey, welcome back guys to Race Car Life. Adrian here. We are chilling in the Model Y Performance, white on white, the daily driver. By the way, a lot of hate uh, for Tesla, man. And it's a, it's a really awesome car. I put like 20,000 miles on this Tesla already. Daily driver, right? And um, it's awesome, especially right now with gas prices and everything. But that being said, we are heading back home. We are picking up the twin turbo Huracan because I want to do a walk around on it. I think I finally fixed the lighting. Like lighting looks okay right now. Um, the camera was completely messed up. I picked it up and I had to do like a factory reset um, and go through like all the settings and stuff. So I don't know if I did it right this time. Hopefully I did. That way we could do a walk around of the entire uh, car there, uh, the Huracan, um, and then I can go over some more details on the car. You guys can get a better look at it because the previous video, awful. Even during editing, I did like all the automatic uh, color changing with exposure and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. I, I probably sound dumb because I, I actually don't really know what I'm talking about. But anyway, long story short, um, there was there was no fixing that. The footage was just gone. It was terrible. So, uh, we're gonna go pick it up. Uh, gonna do some sound tests on it. Uh, get the turbo spool and do a little walk around just so you guys can kind of see a little better. Um, so yeah, I'll be home in just a few minutes. Autopilot Live is awesome. I'll see you guys in a second. So I should have finally figured out the lighting. I mean, this still looks completely washed out and I have no idea why, but here's a quick walk around. Of the new twin turbo Lamborghini Huracan. Look at how funny it looks, by the way, with the front lift up. Jesus, that's so dramatic, but with the huge speed bumps that we have over here, I have to keep it up until I get out of the neighborhood. See, this completely washes out right here and I can't figure out why. But it's definitely more visible now. Okay. And here we are. So again, stage one, I think, is what I was told. Twin turbo kit. I don't really know what the difference is between stage one, two, etc. Um, when it comes to the twin turbo kits. But what I do know for sure um, is that this thing is ridiculously fun. Let's see if you could kind of peek through there. Now it's a little dark, actually. But you can see the cone filters coming up. Waste gates, blow valves, right? Everything. I mean, the thing is nuts. We're gonna definitely be having a lot of fun with it. You know what's funny is I haven't actually opened the front. Uh, the front, let's do that real quick. Okay, yeah, I completely forgot the seller had let me know there was gonna be a carbon fiber steering wheel coming with it. The Alcantara is pretty worn out, but the carbon fiber is still in really good condition. I might actually be able to salvage this. Put some new Alcantara grips, maybe all white or maybe just black with a white stripe on top to match the car itself. That'll look really nice. Also, we got the stock ECUs. Actually, you know what? Speaking of stock ECUs, let me get these out of here before we go uh, do fun stuff and have these, you know, knock it around everywhere. A little bit of spider webs, man. This thing needs a good detail, actually. It's been a couple of days since the last video. What is in these, by the way? I've never actually opened these. If you could see, it's pretty worn out, but it does say Huracan on there. Okay, so it's like a road safety kit. A couple of basic tools in there. I think this is in case you get a flat tire. Okay, cool, cool. 
And let's go ahead and close this guy back up. But yep, there she is in a much better view. Still trying to figure out exactly, but you know, we're working on it. We're working on it, guys. Stay with me. Uh, we're gonna be doing some really cool stuff with this thing, but yeah, let's take it for a little rip right now. See how she sounds. Let's go. Oh my God, that's not gonna get old. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, so this should be a little bit better. Uh, we're definitely gonna do a couple of pulls in this thing, see how she sounds, but yeah, twin turbo. We gotta let it warm up a little bit. Um, the lighting is still not great. I saw, I was like, okay, you can actually see the body of the car a little bit more, so that's nice. But overall, the picture is so washed out. If you have any tips on uh, how to get the lighting down, let me know. Watched a couple of videos, lowered the ISO and the exposure, but man, for some reason, it completely washes out the car. Um, so it's kind of weird, but uh, yeah, hopefully we can fix that soon. And here we go. Look at these bumps right here. Thank goodness for the lift. Because if not, that would have been a pretty nasty scrape. And then we don't have to go like extremely sideways, you know, uh, just to get over it uh, because the lift helps out with that. Otherwise, you know, we'd be doing one of those zigzags, but right here, same thing, right? Perfect. The R8 had absolutely no front end lift. So, oh yeah, we were going sideways over those bumps uh, and pretty much everything else because we had slammed that car. Um, and it looked really nice actually, by the way, not gonna lie. Let's go ahead and get that front lip back down. Click that once. That's gonna start flashing. The whole car starts moving down, which is extremely helpful. And then let's get this thing in manual mode. Sixth. See, in automatic, it's kind of nice. It just goes all the way to seventh. Um, even at 40 miles an hour, and it's just quiet, right? And you start downshifting, and it starts getting, it starts waking up.
is not for the faint-hearted, I'll tell you that. I mean, it just throws you back. You know how most cars, it doesn't throw you back unless you're in the passenger side? Uh, this thing will throw you back even if you're the driver. It's pretty nuts. So since this car is a custom tune on it, this entire time I've just been in Strada. The thing about uh, Sport and Corsa in this car is that turns up the boost big time. Uh, I've never actually tried them yet. I mean, I've tried Sport, not a big difference. It's like a little bit more boost, but from what I was told, Corsa is going to be your biggest change in power. Um, again, under a normal car, it would just kind of like open up the valves, right? Um, and maybe turn up the power, you know, a little bit via the electronics. But uh, in this case, we're talking 100 more wheel horsepower. And uh, we're going to try it right now. There's a 
couple little scratches here and there, little nicks and stuff in the clear coat, but it has 30,000 miles. Obviously, it's gonna have a couple of little issues. Like, everything is cosmetic. The actual car runs flawlessly, which I've loved. Um, and it's definitely a car that I have never experienced this much power before. Uh, so, definitely gonna be fun learning how to properly drive it. Look at how low it sits when that front end lift is finally down. I mean, it is on the floor. So imagine if the wheels came out just a little bit more. 1016 Perfamonte style front bumper, satin white clear wrap. Maybe get some carbon fiber side skirts, center tri or quad exhaust. I don't know. Again, we're gonna be uh, doing 100k mile on this car, trying to hit 100,000 miles, excuse me. And uh, I just wanted to do another walk around. The camera quality was awful. I wasn't expecting it to be that day, obviously on my delivery day, but uh, another walk around to see the car just a little bit better. today's video if you want to see more of not only the build but uh, seeing if this poor car actually lasts to a hundred thousand miles boosted uh, definitely like and subscribe it's gonna be a fun journey we're gonna film you know hopefully all of the cruises that we go on long trips all that kind of good stuff uh, definitely a lot of events coming up which are gonna be really nice so Again, like and subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll be seeing you guys later.